My name is Hans Beth, and I am one of the many theoretical physicists who worked on the Manhattan Project. This was a government-funded study to help the United States win the war. My colleagues and I were responsible for inventing and producing the world's first atomic bomb. This bomb would go on to win the war in the Pacific Theater and bring about the surrender of the Japanese Empire. While I myself was based in Los Alamos, New Mexico, we had over 40 laboratories spread out across the United States. We had scientists working around the clock from Los Angeles all the way to Philadelphia, with one of the main labs being located in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Of course, World War II was raging across the world when we began our study, but by the time we actually finished production and the testing of the atomic bomb, the war in Europe had already ended. There were hundreds of scientists that were involved with this project, but one of the most recognizable of these was Albert Einstein. Also, we were headed by Professor J. Robert Oppenheimer, who helped us receive funding from the government for our project. I helped with calculating several of the formulas needed for the development of the atomic bomb, like the loads, explosive yield, and the critical mass of uranium-235, which is the element we used in the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. I also found the theory of fusion, nuclear fusion, which is the process by which heat and energy is produced inside of large stars. As I previously stated, my theory of nuclear fusion ex greatly expanded both the fields of nuclear fusion and fission. But more importantly, I think the development of the atomic bomb will greatly affect all areas of life, not just here in the physics community. And we must be very careful with what we do with this newfound power. Well, as I'm sure some of you have seen, Klaus Fuchs has been exposed to be a Soviet spy and was arrested earlier this week. I was greatly surprised to hear this as I knew Fuchs well since he worked for me at Los Alamos. I'm not sure on all the details of the case, but I'm sure more information will be made available soon.